Every day, more than 300,000 vehicles battle for space on one of Atlanta's most important highways. For commuters in the city's booming northern suburbs, State Route 400 has become both a lifeline and a source of daily frustration. The road that connects homes to jobs and schools is also the corridor that traps drivers in relentless traffic. What once symbolized opportunity is now a choke point straining under decades of growth. The consequences reach far beyond inconvenience. Hours lost in congestion ripple through the economy, slowing freight, draining productivity, and eroding quality of life. With forecasts predicting even more residents and jobs by 2040, the need for a transformative solution has become urgent. After years of debate, studies, and federal approvals, Georgia has given the green light to one of its boldest infrastructure undertakings yet, which has now been officially kickstarted, setting the stage for a project that promises to redefine how people move across Metro Atlanta. Today, let's delve into Georgia's $11 billion State Route 400 expansion. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. State Route 400, often called Georgia 400, is a vital north-south highway linking Atlanta's perimeter business district to the fast-growing suburbs of Fulton and Forsyth counties. For decades, it has served as the backbone of the region's commuting network, carrying workers from sprawling subdivisions and booming office parks to one of the city's largest job hubs inside the I-285 Beltway. Yet the very growth it enabled also overwhelmed it. Originally designed to handle about 100 to 120,000 vehicles daily, by the 2010s, volumes had surged past 300,000 in some stretches, straining the corridor well beyond capacity. Earlier widenings added lanes, but each was quickly consumed by demand and congestion returned worse than before. Without intervention, it risks becoming a choke point threatening Metro Atlanta's competitiveness. The lack of transit only worsens matters. The MARTA red line ends at North Springs, leaving commuters north of that point dependent on cars or buses caught in the same gridlock. State Route 400 needed more than extra lanes. It required a smarter, integrated solution. Building on the success of express lanes on I-85, I-75, and I-575. The Georgia Department of Transportation placed State Route 400 in its major mobility investment program. After environmental clearance in 2021, the state moved forward with procurement, ultimately selecting SR400 Peach Partners, an international consortium to deliver the project. The financial agreements reached closure in August 2025 marking the largest public-private partnership deal ever executed in Georgia's history. The State Route 400 Express Lanes expansion covers approximately 16 miles of highway, stretching from the North Springs Marta Station in Fulton County to just north of McFarland Parkway in Forsyth County. Along this stretch, the project introduces new tolled express lanes designed to function alongside the existing general purpose lanes, from North Springs to McGinnis Ferry Road, there will be two express lanes in each direction. North of McGinnis Ferry to McFarland Parkway, the footprint narrows to one lane in each direction. The express lanes will be managed using dynamic, congestion-based tolling, with prices that adjust in real time to maintain minimum speeds of 45 miles per hour, even during the busiest peaks. This approach ensures that the lanes provide a consistently reliable option for commuters while also easing pressure on the general purpose lanes. The scope also includes the integration of Georgia's first bus rapid transit line on a highway corridor. Dedicated stations will be built at key access points, including North Point Mall, Holcomb Bridge Road, and Windward Parkway, with seamless connections to the existing MARTA rail system. Registered transit buses and van pools will use the lanes toll-free giving them dependable travel times regardless of congestion. Supporting infrastructure is equally extensive. Bridges at Pitts Road, Roberts Drive, and Kimball Bridge Road were already replaced or widened in advance, preparing the corridor for the full express lanes' expansion. 
Direct access ramps and merge points will be constructed to allow drivers to enter and exit the express lanes without causing bottlenecks. Intelligent transportation systems, including overhead gantries and sensors, will allow real-time monitoring of traffic conditions and dynamic toll adjustments. The lanes are designed to connect eventually with planned express lanes on I-285, creating a network effect that will benefit the entire region. Delivering a project of this scale requires meticulous engineering. The new express lanes are largely built within the median or adjacent to existing lanes, which means traffic must be maintained at all times during construction. To achieve this, contractors will stage construction carefully, shifting vehicles between temporary alignments as bridges and new lanes are completed. Engineering challenges include ensuring adequate drainage to handle Georgia's intense storms, building durable concrete pavement capable of withstanding decades of heavy use, and designing interchanges that minimize weaving and conflict points. Tolling gantries must be seamlessly integrated with Peach Pass, the state's electronic tolling system, to ensure accurate and reliable billing at highway speeds. The state has mandated strict oversight by appointing an independent quality firm to audit all phases of design and construction. This firm handles inspections, material verification, and compliance checks to ensure standards are met. With a concession stretching over half a century, the durability of the infrastructure is critical. The quality checks are designed to avoid costly defects that might otherwise surface decades into the contract. The total estimated cost of the State Route 400 expansion is around $11 billion, making it one of the most expensive transportation projects in Georgia's history. Funding is anchored by a record $3.89 billion loan through the Federal Transportation Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act program, the largest ever issued under it. This is paired with $3.3 to $3.4 billion in private activity bonds, representing the largest bond issuance for a P3 highway project in the United States. Additional support comes from a $184 million infra grant, $100 million in state bonds for the bus rapid transit component, and equity contributions from the private developers. A significant element is the upfront concession fee of about $3.8 to $4.05 billion paid by the project consortium, which Georgia will reinvest in other transportation priorities. The project is being delivered through a design build finance operate maintain concession, lasting 50 to 56 years. Under this model, SR400 Peach Partners will design, build, operate, and maintain the express lanes, with revenue risk tied to toll collection. Major construction is scheduled to begin in late 2025, with completion expected by spring 2031. As with any megaproject, the State Route 400 expansion has not escaped criticism. One of the most common objections is the perception that express lanes are Lexus lanes, affordable only to wealthier drivers. Critics argue that dynamic tolling creates inequity by giving faster travel to those who can pay more. Supporters counter that express lanes are voluntary and that their existence improves speeds in general purpose lanes as well, benefiting everyone. Residents along the corridor also face years of disruption from noise, traffic diversions, and right-of-way impacts, though Georgia DOT has committed to mitigation measures such as noise barriers and careful staging, but impacts will still be felt. The 50-year concession raises concerns about private operators controlling tolling and maintenance for decades, potentially limiting flexibility. Revenue uncertainty is another issue. If traffic demand does not meet projections, the private partner, not taxpayers, bears the financial loss and that risk also influences toll pricing strategies. Despite criticisms, the project promises major benefits. Modeling suggests average commute times could drop by 15 minutes during peak hours, with daily delay reductions of more than 19,000 hours. By shifting some drivers into tolled lanes, congestion in free lanes should also improve, creating system-wide gains. Safety is another advantage as smoother traffic flow is expected to cut crashes by about 
For commuters and businesses, the reliability of travel times is as valuable as speed, making trips more predictable. A key breakthrough is the Bus Rapid Transit Line, which will give Northside commuters their first congestion-free transit option linked directly to MARTA Rail. This could reshape travel patterns, reduce reliance on single-occupancy vehicles, and encourage transit-oriented development near stations. Economic benefits extend further. Faster commutes expand labor market access, freight and delivery become more reliable, and the upfront concession fee provides funds for additional statewide transportation projects. By 2031, the State Route 400 expansion will stand as a cornerstone of Atlanta's transportation future, linking with I-285 to form a managed lane loop that offers drivers reliable options and reshapes mobility across the region. The inclusion of Georgia's first highway-based bus rapid transit system marks a bold step for transit, providing congestion-free connections to MARTA and potentially serving as a model for other corridors nationwide. As rare as such integration is in U.S. highway projects, its success could redefine how transit and highways coexist. Yet the project's ultimate legacy will depend on its long-term performance. Questions remain over whether dynamic pricing will remain politically sustainable, whether bus rapid transit ridership will justify expansion, and whether the consortium can maintain the system to high standards over decades. Still, the State Route 400 Express Lanes expansion is more than extra pavement. It is a turning point that blends innovation, finance, and transit into a blueprint for tackling urban congestion. What do you think? Will this $11 billion expansion truly solve Atlanta's traffic nightmare? Or will it create new problems like overpricing and inequity along the way? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.